Good morning! Hey all you beautiful folks out there. So I just wanted to share with you guys an experience that the kids and I had last night and to just show you how kindness can truly light a fire inside of us that will continue throughout our day, our week, our night, our, our month, and our life. Um, so I decided last night I just had two kids at home. I had one that was at work, one that was gone to a ball game. And so the kids and I talked about a couple of different things that we could do and we decided that we were going to go to dinner. Now financially for a single parent, money is not just abundant. That's the best way to put it. We've had some setbacks lately, um, some that we opposed on ourselves, and some that kind of came out of nowhere and caught us on the blind side. And so it's not like we go out to eat every single night. There was a time when we used to be very, very um, irresponsible with our money and we would spend it on things that we didn't necessarily need, like eating out often. And then we would not have money at the end of the week. But nowadays we're doing pretty good at being responsible with our money. But every so so often as a single mom, you want to be able to just take your kids out and not have to have to uh, order off the dollar menu, okay? So this night we decided that we were going to go to a place that has our absolute favorite wings. And we were so excited about going here. Now, the whole time we were driving to Jonesboro, which is one town over from where we live, I was kind of going, calculating through my mind, like how much I could spend uh, and how it was going to be a pretty selective process on what we could have because the place is fairly expensive when it comes to a dollar menu family, okay? And so we get there and we sit down and we had the most awesome waitress. I mean, she was just a cool person who truly cared about us and we could tell it was obvious in her service and her treatment of us. And so she comes over and what do you know? All of the things that we wanted to order were half price. So we were stoked. And I mean, we had this feast laid out in, in front of us. We were able to have enough food for myself and Justice and Addison. And we were able to order enough to take home to our other two boys who would be at home when we got back. And so, I can tell you, we were wrapped up in each other. We were having eating contests. Who could get their boneless wing down the fastest? And who, who could chew it up and swallow it the quickest? And, and we were laughing and, and being silly. And, and to be honest, I didn't notice that there was a whole restaurant full of people there. Because I was just so enjoying and celebrating my kids. Um, and about... Toward the end of our dinner, we looked up and I saw that there was a coworker of mine who was sitting across the restaurant. So, of course, we waved real big and kind of spoke to each other. And it wasn't a big interaction. It was just a, a greeting. And so we finished up our meal and, and, and the waitress came over and we were asking for some quarters because we were going to go upstairs and play pool. And, and she let us know that uh, someone had paid for our meal. And wouldn't you know it, my coworker that we had just had that quick, simple greeting had taken care of our dinner. Now, I can tell you that it wasn't a hundred bucks. It wasn't $5,000. It was a simple dinner for three people. And it was even half price. But I can tell you in this moment, my children were stunned. They were moved that someone would care enough to take care of our dinner. And they actually didn't even truly know our financial situation. My children didn't know. And so had they, they would even <clears throat> understand more deeply what I know to be true, which is that that act of kindness was right on time. So, of course, we went over and we hugged our, our um, friends and, and told them thank you so much. And we got our food ready and we were about to go upstairs to play our pool game. And the kids said, let's go say thank you one more time. It meant something to them. So we went upstairs and we played pool and we had a good time and we got to our car and, and I thought, you know, that, that was beautiful. That was amazing. We were even talking about it all the way to the car and 
we started to pull out and we saw this gentleman um, who is periodically homeless. He doesn't have a lot. His mental ability is very deficient and it's very obvious in speaking to him. But people are pretty compassionate when it comes to this guy. Now, my children didn't know him from Adam. All they knew is it was this guy standing on the on the street corner uh, with rags wrapped around his hands and, and, and really didn't have a whole lot. Okay. And it was chilly last night. And so we started to pull out and Justice said, mom, mom, stop. Now this kid's only got about $5 in his pocket. Okay. He said, mom, I want to go and give him some money. He needs to get him something to eat. And Addison said, yeah, mom, me too. And I said, are you guys sure? You know, I'm thinking we've got to get back home. It's getting kind of late. And they said, no, we're sure. And so we pulled up kids jumped out of the car. They ran over there and they gave him uh, some of their money, a pretty significant chunk of their money, not expecting a single thing in return. We left all the way home. Those kids wanted to talk about that man and how he got to that place in his life. It was important for them to understand his story. And I praised them and told them how proud I was of them. And, and my son says, um, uh, Mom, it was pretty simple. Um, when those folks paid for our food, it made me think about things. It made me think about how we can really help each other. I was stunned. Now, my kids are pretty giving people anyways. But what that family did for us early on in the night, it flowed over to my children's heart and awakened that giving spirit. We went to Walmart to grab a few things and saw an older gentleman who was struggling to find a certain kind of candy for his grandson. My kids noticed immediately. We spent the next five minutes looking all over the, the aisles trying to figure out what it was he wanted. It was nothing big. It was small. And, and I don't tell you that to say, oh, what was me? It was my kid's idea to do it. Um, my point is kindness is contagious. Our children are watching what happens in our lives. It is contagious in their lives. What that family did for us, it may have not even been significant for them. But I can tell you, up to midnight last night, my kids were still talking about it. Today, look for ways to love on folks. It is contagious. Rock out your day, buttercup.